back to this verse that off-road, presented by Fuel Off-Road Wheels. We got Georgia, we got Micah, we got wheels, and we got trucks. And if I ingest any more dirt, I might have to see OJ Simpson. I don't understand the reference. All right, everybody, we are back here with another beautiful off-road vehicle. Mr. Devin was here last time in that god dang, what was that? Flyboy. <laughs> And what is this? This is shredded lettuce. Who? Shredded lettuce. But I ain't never seen lettuce in this color. Is this some type of spoiled Canadian lettuce? <laughs> Pretty much. So what is Shredder's lettuce? So it's a TMR chassis, a ultra four car. We converted it into uh, like a Havoc style racer. I also snow wheel this truck. What is all of that? So, some type of biodome type of crawling it's thing? A, it's a mix of everything. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, for rock racing, mud racing, jumping, uh, hopefully whoops, we'll find out. So power-wise, this 632, what does it make? Uh, it made 640 to the tire on a 40-inch tall tire. So we figure it's around the 1350 mark. Hold on, your tire reduces that much power that it's half the power? Exactly, yeah, it's about a 50% loss or, you know, almost 50%. Is that all around or just, is, is this rear-wheel drive, four-wheel drive? Four-wheel drive, Okay. yeah. Sir, I've always wondered this. I've seen these on trucks in Florida. Yeah. Uh, what the f is this? So it's a pinion brake. What's that mean? Uh, it's the brakes on the diff that actually reduces through the gearing for brakes. So it's only got one brake here on the front of the pinion and on the back. So it doesn't have wheel hub brakes. Oh, so oh, so this slows this down. Exactly. Okay, I was yep. wondering, like, you ain't got no brake brakes. No. Nope. Where, where do you get all of this from? So it's um, a two and a half ton military axle. This yeah, a tank a, axle? Yeah, Rockwell. Well, Rockwell axle. So they come in like a, like a deuce and a half, they're called. Okay. So like a carrier I know for military. Yeah. yeah. And the military just sold you this shit. Yes. Look at all this cash, bro. I understand Canadian ain't with the business, so they're just <laughs> like, F it, we're going to just deplete our military and give it to off-road dudes? Exactly. As far as wheels, tires, and suspension, what is going on here? So we got Fox uh, two and a half inch coilovers, and then we got Rad Flow uh, bypasses. Um, it's got about 16 inches of travel in the front. It's got King coilover bump stops, kind of a mix of all the shocks. Mm. What are these big suckers right here? So these are a 47 inch UTV bogger that they came out with, and they're actually a sticky compound. This is sticky. Yeah. How? It's just the compound on the tire makes it super gummy and soft, so it actually sticks to the rocks better. Oh, is that when you're crawling and everything? Exactly, oh, yeah. shoot, all right, so I'm You heat it. them up on the rocks, and then they stick a lot better. And this is a real KMC bead lock? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yep. I thought yep. it was real one KMC. of them simulated bead locks that I've been <laughs> seeing all on the internet. No. To all the fellas out there, this is the way you want your rim to look. That's a pine needle. You see those? Are those from here? <laughs> no, What's that's a, a Canada pine needle. Oh shoot, this is imported. <laughs> I'm not gonna get malaria from this or anything. No, like, no, you'll be good. Hankering for like beef sticks or anything <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> You got a lot of levers and shit back here. What is what is all of this? It looks like something from an oil rig. So it's all just vent tubes. So if the truck ends up doing a rollover, you can actually turn off the fuel, shut off to the truck, and uh, like venting and stuff like that. Do you have to, is there a manual switch up there? Do you have to like get out the truck and flip all the switches? Yeah, usually it'd be like the stat, like the track officials would come out and they'd actually turn the ball valves off and stuff if it, you know, rolls over. Do we got anybody here who can turn all this shit off? You. <laughs> and then um, is this a surge tank? You know, or what, fuel cell and all that? Yeah, when we actually used to Ultra 4 race it, uh, we need to carry lots of fuel, so we actually have a secondary tank. So when it gets low on fuel, we turn on the pump, and then it secondary pumps and refills this tank. How big is the gallons on this whole thing? I'm not sure, because I know in liters. Oh, well, so how many liters? It's 150 liters. So it's four liters in a gallon divided by, I don't know, it's a lot of money. Tough guys don't do math. Excuse me, what, what, is, what is going on in here? We have to be able to drive them, you know, like a good solid nine hours in a snow wheeling trip. So it's kind of got almost everything that you need. It does have a heater in it. Okay. I do have a full windshield with wipers. I normally have side doors and stuff on it when we snow wheel it to stay warm. Helmet Air from uh, Rugged Radio. Uh, Hall EFI. And then what transmission's in here? Uh, this is a Turbo 400 with a reed case and all the goodies inside. And these uh, these handles you got there, what are, are those your oh shits? That's the holy shit handles for the passenger. Have you ever flipped this thing? Uh, many times. Oh, so, oh, so yeah. you, you, you used to this? Oh yeah. Is it scary flipping? Not in this thing at all. It's got big tubing, lots of good cage work. Uh, the truck is a German tank. You know, <laughs> let's go <laughs> let's race it. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you.
What's up guys? It's Georgia. We're here. This versus that off-road. Something I know nothing about, but uh, our friend here, Michael Cox, knows everything about. He's got his baby Bronco and his baby. And this is Avalon. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. The camera. So tell us about what you've brought. This is a this is a fun one. So. Yeah, this is a 1988 Bronco 2. It's like the red-headed stepchild of the Ford Broncos. Why is that? No one wanted these things when they were, you know, 10 years ago. And now but everybody now, wants Now everyone them. wants one. Okay, Avalon, you 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 get it, right? Yeah. You got the you got the help hooks? Us, help us pop the hood open. Will it stay? Boom. No. Oh, okay. So there she is in all her glory. It's a 410 cubic inch small block Ford. Tick. Uh, it's carbureted. We did all the fab work and wiring and, and uh, paint and everything in-house at our shop at Factory yeah. BS. Yeah, it's got a turbo 400 transmission and uh, it's four wheel drive. What kind of horsepower do you think? I don't know, maybe 650. All right. Yeah. All right, so we got yeah. obviously some king shocks going on. Right. What what what's the setup? So this is a full trophy truck set of shocks, king shocks. It's yep. a three and a half inch bypass, two and a half inch coilover, fin reservoirs, all the good stuff. Front end has 17 inches wheel travel. It's made to pop wheelies. So this is a 17 inch Robbie Gordon wheel. Uh, these are OG wheels. They're they're probably at least 10 years old. And uh, this is a BFG 37 inch race tire. All right, tell me about what you got going on. Well, we got a simple roll cage that we fabricated, carbon fiber dash. It's pretty simple and to the point interior. There's not nothing too special about it. This is a King shock rod end, Ooh. offset rod end. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Brett King himself is very proud of. We cool. turned it into a, a shifter, shift lever. I mean, we might have to blur that out. No, I love meat. Mike would never lift Mike Cox. Uh, I'm going for Mike Cox, yeah. I love Michael Cox, but uh, you like Devin's got the W on this one. Sorry, Mike. I'm sorry, Mr. Justin. I'm going to have to go with that highlighter thing over there, <laughs> Mr. Devin. I ain't going to bet against Canada. Look at him. He bright in height. I'm going with the highlighter all the way. I think he's just going to float over the whoops. Michael through the whoops is going to be clean, smooth, and steady. And I feel like that mega truck is going to be doing mega wild shit. Go crazy. Like Shug Knight, he was like, get out the way, yeah. get out the way. You like that champagne, that good night shit, right? Wait, what? Like I'll start up in the rocks. You yep. want to start up in the rocks? Yeah. Oh, that would we'll be go. sick. Okay. <laughs> oh, he wants to start up uh, in yeah, the rocks. All right. How that's do you feel first. about that? No. The <laughs> he says, no. <laughs> Mike, you don't like that? If he's going to start up on the hill in the rocks, like off the starting line, how about you get the hit, he starts in the rocks. Instead of car lengths, we'll do rocks. So and he's got and obstacles and in the way, That's like bro. two car lengths longer of a track. Okay. Yeah. Get get that. Put it in the rocks.
my god. Damn, he was really in. I got hit Mike by a rock. He came <laughs> off that thing all upset and sideways and jaw. Dude, the buggy, I love it because he's landing on throttle and he's just roosted. Straight off the land, just yeah. Pretty good. Three cars. We got smoke. We let the car explode. We're we're one to one right now, dude. We can't let him go out like that. You got three cars, Mike. You got my three. Hell yeah. Baby. You be leaking. Hey. Yeah, coolant's coming out of it. All right, so here's what happened. You got Mike by three cars. Yep. On that one. Okay. He got you by three, or you got him by three on the first one. Yep. I say, this is up to yep. you. You go back in the rocks, and there's no hit. You just leave at the same time. I was pretty much the same time that one. Let's give him two hits, or. The bush. The bush? Let's, Let's give him the bush. bush. So you want the bush off the start. Give Mike the hit and then drop you on the bush. Yes. Let's give it a try. Go, go, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Round three. Too much bush. Gary! What did I do? You weren't paying attention. I was. He said, wait down, and I waved it, and I waved it, and he waited, and then he went. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> he don't know that we're giving him another race. He's just he showing up. His final, his final send off. But... Damn, Devin. I hate to tell you, but we're gonna have to run it back. What happened? Gary gave him a fucking five car bush. <laughs> you won though, you won though. <laughs> we're gonna run it back yeah. one more time. All right. We ain't done yet. You wanna do it? Yeah. Run it back. Yeah, yeah, Gary. Yeah, 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 my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's go. Line them up. He stayed in it. And the pulley. And the pulley? The pulley's Dude, gone too? Shit with Damn. That, bro. bro, send it. See if I you can do it. I did the bush it. though right, right? I did the bush right. You did right. a good bush. Okay. Good bush. Hey, oh. hey, hey. Oh. Skip it. So yeah. my bad, Georgia. No, Yo, let's go check this out. Show up, ring the bell. Yeah! Congratulations, Michael Fox. Blake, Blake, are you all right? 
Blake! Blake, hold on. Blake! 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 You left something out there. You see what you did You left something out there. Yeah, the pulley came off for the belt, bro. Both of them came off, bro. I got dirt everywhere. God, this. Dude, good job. That's hey, driving, dude. Dude, this means I ain't showering for three days out here now. No. Look at me. So you would have been a photo I, finish if the belt didn't Dude, I, I, didn't, oh. I did the bush right, though, right? Yeah. You did good, you did good. That was a good bush. Yeah. There okay. was yeah. no way I thought I was beating you. No, I didn't want to go out there. I'm like, <laughs> there's no way. Once I saw you running, I'm like, no way. There's your trophy. That's Woo! your trophy. Yeah. Championship belt. Trophy. <laughs> I like you that. You need to be a gear tall, because that thing just... With a buggy like that, you can do whatever you want. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah.